hello all welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll show you how to assign segment values to a value set as you have seen uh, this is the uh, flow of steps which we are uh, following in all my uh, previous uh, videos so we have covered uh, creating of the accounting calendar in my previous uh, video so today i'll show you how to create or assign a segment values to a value set so in our chart of accounts uh, we have four segments company cost center account and intercompany and for the company this is the value set reliance company cost center this is the value set account this is the value set and intercompany this is the value set and now we will try to i mean uh, i'll try to show you how to create values under these value sets so first we'll pick up the reliance company so in order to create a values for a value set you need to go to this task manage chart account value set values so click on your username uh, set up and maintenance and then click on task manage implementation projects pick up your project which is arb fusion project and once you're in project you can search for your task okay. pick up the task manage chart of account value set values click on go to task and then search for your value set so in my current example reliance company is my value set so yeah so this is the value set click on uh, actions manage values or you can directly click on manage values button click on search to find out if there are any existing values if there are no existing values you can click on plus to start creating the values so if you go back to my relate groups so as i've discussed in my previous videos this is the structure which i am planning to create under reliance inr ledger i am planning to have two companies reliance communications and reliance textile so i'll have two companies zero one and zero two so zero one uh, i think i'll go for zero one zero if i remember correctly i think i have given three digits for uh, my company code so I'll just update here as well zero one zero zero two zero yeah zero one zero is the reliance communications so i'll give the description as reliance communications enabled if you want you can enter any start date otherwise you can just leave it blank and allow budgeting allow posting so obviously you want to allow budgeting as well as posting using this particular company and hence you can leave them the default values and if you are using a summary account function you can say yes otherwise you just say no click on plus 020 and reliance textiles inc yeah default values so once you are done with this values click on save and close so that's for the reliance company now i want to enter the uh, values for my uh, reliance cost center reliance cost center so search for reliance cost center So let me just click on this edit. I just want to double check the number of segments. Okay, four segments here. Sorry, uh, the length of the segment is four, uh, four. So click on manage values. And again, click on search. Yeah, there are no existing values. So click on plus to start creating the values. <coughs> Sorry. So I'll give four digits. And the first one is just a default 
again allow budgeting allow posting summary yeah so default is basically this cost and if you this is the cost center which you will be using if you do not want to associate any particular transaction with any specific department or a cost center so that's for the default and again this is the default cost center which is used in most of the setups i'll just say 0, 0, 10, 0 for my say finance department and say maybe 0, 0, 2, 0 for my sales department and one more. say 0, 0, 3, 0 for my say marketing department click on save and close so we have completed assigning of the values for my reliance company value set reliance concentrator value set for the intercompany also against the reliance company and as far as the account is concerned we have this value set of corporate account and as far as this corporate account value set is concerned already the values already exist so because this were already created in this environment so i'll show you so this is the existing value set click on manage values click on search as soon as you click on search you should be able to see all the existing natural account values which are created in this system so again even here it's more or less the same thing if you want to create any new value click on uh, plus button and then enter your value description enable start date end date allow budgeting allow posting summary and here we have couple of uh, other uh, fields as well which is the account type so whether you, whether it's an uh, asset account or expense account liability account or revenue account or uh, owner cpd account and also we have third party control account again we have this particular functionality even in uh, e business suit as well so if you want this if you want to tag a particular account as a third party control account so here you have different options again like if you say restrict gl manual entries so that means this particular account national account which can be used only in gl manual journals if you say supplier control account this can be used only in ap if it's a customer control account this can be used only in ar and so on and uh, this is basically a reconciler uh, field if you are using uh, your gl reconciliation functionality then you can say enable it otherwise you can just say no and uh, we have last uh, option which is financial category which is an optional one so financial categories under which financial category this particular national account falls so whether it's a cash account or accrued liability or accrued uh, so here you have so many things yeah. accrued liability accounts receivable accounts payable common stock and so on so, so there are a lot of values which are uh available here so again this being a optional one so let me just uh, get rid of the first row which i have entered yeah so this is how you create values under a, a value set and my next video i'll uh, show you how to create a ledger because now we have the chart of account uh, structure we have the accounting calendar we have the uh, segment values as well so i'll show you how to create a, a primary ledger thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on Apple financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you